What's going on Angelina Broly? Today we're going to be putting in this Glacier Bay gooseneck faucet. It's supposed to be the quick connect kind. Never done this kind before. This faucet isn't working. When you turn the water on, nothing comes out of here, but the sprayer will work. I've got the water off, so make sure you turn the water off before you install your new faucet. But uh, yeah, I've tried to clean the aerator. I've tried to clean all this out. Nothing's working. It's just old, so I'm going to replace it. First thing we got to do is get all this out of here. Yeah, you can either turn the water off at the valves here, or you can go out to the road and turn them off. I got them off at the road. These valves are kind of old, so I don't trust them. Like they're going to be leaking, so I turned the main valve off. All right, let's go ahead and open up the new faucet. Usually it'll come with lines. Yep. All right, since this comes with supply lines on it, we can just take these lines off here. And get all that egg salad out of there. We'll just lift that egg salad, egg salad right on up out of there. Yeah, so these are the lines going up. Yeah, my daughter had a positive C19 case in her class. So it kind of threw a monkey wrench in my recording schedule. I want to break this off. <clears throat> stay home with her for three days till we got the negative back she didn't get it thank god oh the sucker's brittle I don't want to break that off let's try this one This is kind of old, man. It's a side job. Yeah, I had to stay home with the little girl until she got a negative case or a negative test, you know. So I wasn't able to record through an old monkey wrench in my recording schedule. All right, now for this pain in the booty. This one's on there tight. lines off we can just loosen it up underneath pull it straight out all right we gotta get this out of here I'm gonna undo that screw there sorry the hands in the way all right got that screw loosened up with my screwdriver just thinking about getting a drill up in here but it's too big there's also another screw on the other side Boy, it's tied up in here. I'm just gonna just take them out. Gonna have to do it there as well. Once you get those screws off, you can just boom, get that egg salad out of there. The same thing here as well as you can see that little Phillips head there same deal now you can just pull that up out of there once you get this off this whole thing is spinning so I got to put my bag here to stop it because it was just going zoop, 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 as I was turning it from underneath loosening it or trying to loose it anyway so we'll see if that works yes sir the old plumbing tool wins again I love this tool, man. I'll leave a link for it in the description below. But that whole gooseneck was spinning around the sink. I had to stop it with the tool bag. All this stuff is old, man. Anything old, I call it egg salad. So if you guys are wondering, like, what's he talking about egg salad? Anything old and just crusty? I say, let's get that egg salad out of there. We gotta get that egg salad out. All right, finally remove that nut from the bottom. It got stuck right there and it just kept spinning and spinning and spinning so I had to come up here and pull and then turn it with my with my Jackie Chan's there so I think I'm just gonna cut 
gonna cut these lines, man. I'm not even gonna deal with all of that. Just cut them with my cutter, 10 snips, and this will come right out. Yeah, I tried to go underneath, get that nut from underneath, but no way, Jose. I've never installed one of these, uh, what was it, Glacier Bay faucets. Probably gonna be some guys up there, oh, that thing is a piece of crap. Hey, I'm just installing what they want, man. You know? Just putting in whatever they pay me to put in. I have no control over, over that. Now that the channel's growing, I got a lot of armchair quarterbacks. Oh, I would have torn the whole kitchen out. Oh, what a hack. What a hack. I would have just replaced the whole kitchen. Just remodeled the whole kitchen. Everything's so bunched up on in there. I couldn't get to the nut room. Really, so I'm just going to chop it out from up here. And let it fall. Whew, that was a lot easier than what I was doing underneath. I tried. Wasn't working out, big dog. Let me get that nut off from up here. Just pull up and turn, maybe. Look at there. Don't have to go underneath for this one. Once we get all this old egg salad out of here, then we can install our new faucet. Go underneath and get you. Is it gonna go? It's looking like it. They always make these things a mile long. There we go. Well, I'm gonna have to cut this too. All right, now we can put in the old Glacier Bay. All right, since it's got three holes here, we're gonna have to use our scutcheon. If you had one hole, you could just go in with it like that, but we got three, so we're gonna need to cover those holes with our new scutcheon here. So all the lines need to go down the middle. Get all the lines down the middle of the sketch in there, and we can feed them through there just like that. And this scutcheon will cover up the other two holes. Don't forget this little line here, that's for your sprayer. I've never done one of these before. First time, so I thought I'd record it. And uh if all the armchair quarterbacks see something, I love letting them squirm, getting their uh, comments. So, turn it like that so Glacier Bay is showing here on the bottom. All right, so you want to make sure you get your lines through the middle of this as well, because this is what's going to screw up on the bottom of the faucet. It says you can actually push this up. Push it up on it and then you screw it. So either way, just make sure you got your lines through there. Are you kidding me, Brosaline? This is pretty awesome. I pretty much just push this up onto the shaft there, all the way up to the top of the of the sink here. And then I heard a click. I'm like, okay, well that must be that must be giving me the signal to turn it to the right, righty tighty. And sure enough, man, it is. It's tightening up. So when you hear the click, push it up till you hear like a click. And then you just start tightening it down, Joseph. Crazy. I like this. All right. That should be good. Nice and snug. No wrench needed. Cool. Now we can hook up our water lines. 
All right, Glacier Bay, I see you, big dog. All right, so your hot's gonna be labeled hot caliente. That's gonna go on the, the hot line where the dishwasher is. All right, all right, got the cold hooked up. Just gonna do the hot now. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this sucker so I don't break it off underneath the, the cabinet. Go back to my rookie years, boy. I broke, I broke many a pipe off in the wall in my rookie years. A lot of guys are like, oh, you're so lucky. Your property's so new. Well, I mean, I didn't start out that way. I started out on old pieces of junk. First place I started was built in 1970. Dang line kinked up on me here. I wanted to change that, so I put in a bunch of applications at nicer places and then found a nicer place. If you don't like where you're at, move. You're not a tree. All right, bro, this is all deep back here. I needed two hands, but don't forget to connect your sprayer here. This just pushes up onto that little hose. And then you'll hear a snap. Clip. Let's make sure it's on there good. Yep. Then just I'll put my weight on. All right, this is for our weight here. That side up. And it's going to clip right there. See where it says weight here? That's where you want to clip it. So this side up. Wait here. Clip on there like that. And then you can slide your weight down on it. Let's try to do this with one hand here. It's all tight. Some people say get a tripod. It won't matter. It's too tight. There we go. Weight just slides down right on the back. Boop. Alright, I got the water back on. No leakers coming from the supply line. Just an old water stain from when I removed the old faucet, the water that came out of the old one. So uh, I like it. It's nice and secure. I like how that nut just snaps on and then you tighten it up. I like that. It'll wait. It'll wait was kind of in an unfortunate spot. I'll show you here. It was hitting against this, this pipe here. So I had to move it up a little bit. I moved it up too far, then he, he couldn't pull the sprayer out far enough, so I had to find a happy medium. And right there is good. It's not hitting the pipe, and he can pull the sprayer out a long way. So you might have to adjust the weight, but it's no biggie. It just slides up and down. But I like the Glacier Bay, man. It's my first experience with it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Can you get parts for it? Are they easy to work on? This is my first experience, so I'd like to get some more info here. There's all the egg salad that came out of there. had to get rid of. But I uh, pump the stock. Pump the dirty maintenance stock. Let, let's get this thing to 50,000 subscribers. Like, subscribe, share. Let me know what you think of uh, Glacier Bay. See you on the next one. Later.